These skins had the year they came out in their title, and bringing them back takes away from their rarity. But what about the OG players who worked hard to stay updated and grab those skins when they were first released? You don't know what they went through. An OG player will never forget it. But a new player, they don't care what they went through. They just want the skin. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to clear up a few things from my last video that went up about a week ago. I've gotten a lot of negative feedback over my opinion. So here's a quick recap. The Pacific All-Star skins recently returned and it bothered me. These skins had the year they came out in their title and bringing them back takes away from their rarity. I'd rather see new skins for 2024. Hey, even 2022. There's not even one for 2022. Like, why don't they add them? Instead of bringing old skins back from Overwatch 1. Anyways, I get that new players want them. But what about the OG players who worked hard to stay updated and grab those skins when they were first released? You don't know what they went through. They did everything in their power to probably get those skins. They probably had to do whatever they did, you know? You don't know what they went through. It feels like all that effort was for nothing. If they just keep coming back, why rush to get something, a skin, if you know it'll return eventually? Why rush then? I'd prefer new players to have their own exclusive items, just like the OG players do. Or I should say did, since all the rare skins are literally making a return. And honestly, I get it. I get that the newer players don't care at all how much time and effort OG players put in to get these skins, to stay updated with these skins, to do whatever they could to get these skins. You don't know what they went through. An OG player will never forget it. But a new player, they don't care what they went through. They just want the skin, you know? But it's the meaning behind that OG player, that what they went through to get that skin, to make sure they got that skin, to make sure that they were dedicated, to make sure that they were active in the new skins that were released that year. That stuff, honestly, in my opinion, should be rewarded. The OG players kept the game going, and that will never be forgotten. Anyways, I gotta go now. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And feel free to let me know down below what you think. Bye for now.